I'm with Aranya Malaki Bandak from the Peace Centre here in Bethlehem. Have you had a busy year, Rania? I think you can tell from your many telephone calls and visits that, you know, I have a very busy schedule this year. Yeah. And are you busy over Christmas this year? It will be much busier this year. A lot of events and uh, things, you know, you know, my evaluation after five, 15 years working here at the Peace Center, despite all the general circumstances around us, you know, and the s- situation, but it's getting, Christmas getting much nicer every year. People are coming from different parts of the world. Last Saturday, you know, I know that, you know, Indian people coming to, um, to Bethlehem every year, but we are seeing a lot of different nationalities coming. Uh, for example, you know, on Saturday, it was like an invasion from India coming to Bethlehem. It's very nice, you know, seeing people how like happy see coming to Bethlehem and how enthusiastic coming here to the manger square, taking picture in front of the Christmas tree. It's very nice. And we are like happy to have more and more people coming to, to Bethlehem this year. And it seems like more and more events are being put on as well. Yeah. Are, are you wanting Christmas to be something that's Bethlehem as an international place? It should be. Actually, it is an international place, uh, Paul, because Bethlehem, you know, I always say that Christmas is Bethlehem and Bethlehem is Christmas. So when you say Christmas, you say Bethlehem, where Jesus Christ was born. So you enjoy every detail thing in Bethlehem, you know, during Christmas. It's, you know, when you say Christmas, it's life. You see joy and happiness among the streets of Bethlehem. When you walk, you see and you feel it. And of course, it's, you know, it should be an international Christmas here. Everybody should come and celebrate Christmas in, Christmas in Bethlehem. We hope we can, you know, have more people coming and staying during Christmas uh, in Bethlehem. And what special events do you have on this Christmas? Well, as you can see, we started with the Christmas market, and this year we had extra countries participating in the Christmas uh, market on the 27th of November and the first Advent. And, of course, the tree lighting ceremony, it was extraordinary. It was, it was actually really wonderful, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It was really, really nice. And, um, of course, now you can see the parade. The parade that's going in Bethlehem you know, streets, which is very, very nice from the um, company Media Plus, and we do cooperate with them. Of course, we have now on Manger Square, as you can see, the uh, Christmas Village. Now, the, you know, Media Plus also is working on it, and they, we do cooperate because our location, a strategic place, you know, on Manger Square, every event that takes place on Manger Square, they should cooperate with us because we we have the venue and they use it. So we are giving, you know, like a help to every, you know, body who wants to celebrate Christmas and arrange events on Manger Square. Is this the very first time to have the Christmas village here in yeah. Bethlehem? Yeah, this is the first time and uh, we are looking forward because in like uh, two, three days, the opening of the Christmas village and it, ha- it will be having a lot of uh, new things, you know, like different sections with a Santa village. It's, it's something new. I, you know, I don't want to give extra information about it. You know, the one who is responsible, you know, is Juliana, Juliana Houdali. She will give you more details about it. And it's going to be very, very exciting for the children to see that as well. Of course, of course. uh, Many people are asking about what's going on on Major Square. What is this? What is this? So um, we are looking forward. And of course, the mayor's theme this year is about children, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is about mercy in the spirit of Christmas. And we are, when you say mercy, mercy among everybody, and especially to children, because because they are children. They will grow up, and they should like live in a very good atmosphere and they they should feel the mercy among you know like uh, people Mm. and they they are you know they will send the message when they grow in they grow up and get older when they feel the mercy among people this will be having a good influence on others and you have choirs coming from abroad as well yes we have different choirs i'm not i don't have the exact numbers but this year we of course on the tree lighting ceremony we had international choirs and of course on the 24th uh, we'll be having uh, international and local choirs of course what's it like for you listening to the choir singing praises to god in bethlehem in the place where jesus was born well you know it touches your heart it's it goes directly to your heart you know when you feel that you feel you know like you feel christmas because you know for me and I, I this is the best time of the year to you know to celebrate you know i love december i love christmas you know and when you hear like the singing it touches your heart and this is what Christmas, you know, about. 
So does it make all the craziness of preparation well worth it? Yeah, of course, of course. It's all during this month. It's it's a crazy month, but it's 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 worth it, as you as as we say. How far in advance do you actually prepare for Christmas? Well, actually, for the Christmas market, we started the preparation in September because we ha- you have to be ready all the time because or any un- unforeseen you know, like event because you know there there is a lot of bookings at the peace center. We had now you know like if telephone calls and uh, emails for musical concerts and uh, children events. So we are ready all the time. And what happens here on the twenty fourth of December? On the 24th, we send Christmas to every part of the world. The 24th and the 25th of uh, December, it's the birth of the, the messenger of peace, Jesus. And we send this message to everybody, to every part of the world. It's Christmas. And the scouts will be playing and marching? Yes, of course, of course. You can tell, you know, that all the preparation. If you walk, you know, in Bethlehem streets, you can feel the training of the scouts, you know. And then in the afternoon, the patriarch comes? Of course, uh, the patriarch and uh, with the scouts. And of course, later on, we'll be having the uh, choirs on Manager Square. And then finally, finish off with mass in the church? Of course, of course, you know. And uh, of course, we will be working till midnight because many people will be coming. We hope this, you know, the weather will be okay. So as you know, we won't be having like uh, this uh, jab. People will enter to the peace center. So we welcome people to enter, you know, because we are the, as I said, this is strategic in, in a strategic point uh, on Manger Square. Mm. And of course, on the 24th, Father Christmas comes. So have you been good this year? Um, I'm trying, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> I hope, yeah. I, I, I'm trying to be uh, as good as possible. <laughs> so really your message this year is Bethlehem is unique and it's a place for every Christian to come and visit. It's all the, all the time it's unique, and but this year it's much more unique. And we want more people to come and see Christmas live here. Have you had lots of tourists this year? Yes, I see, you know, as I told you, know, we see different nationalities. We have seen you know, different people and uh, even the local tourism, you know, different people from different parts of Palestine are coming. It's, it's an attraction you know, to come to Bethlehem this time of the year. And what's your prayer for 2017? Mercy, mercy. It's like, you know, it's, it's our message, you know, all the time. But it's despite everything, you, we should have mercy, mercy towards everybody. We should, despite the situation, we should have mercy in our hearts, in our life. And of course, we want to send me- the message of love and peace to every part of the world. Okay, Rania, thank you very much. Thank you, Paul, and hope to see you next year. <laughs>